So in last video, we have seen the data set and we have understood what uh, we are going to try to build. Now in this video, we are going to understand the example, how decision tree is made, how decision tree is built, how the columns are chosen, right? So let us try to understand that. So let us try to first get our motto, what we are trying to solve over here. So we want to build a decision tree and a decision tree should be as small as possible. So why it should be as small as possible? Because the time, the computation time will be reduced. Let's try to understand that if the decision tree is too tall, then if we have to pass a long route and that would take a time. So our goal is to build a decision tree, which is as short as possible, right? To achieve that goal, what we need to think over here is that the node, the impurity should be reduced as much as possible. Now, what is impurity? Let us try to understand that with an example. So on the right side, we have seen that there's a decision tree, right? On the refund attribute, we have the left child as don't cheat. Now, um, when we talk about the left child, so whenever the refund equals to yes, we are just getting a single output that is no, that is person is not cheating, right? So that is what is called as pure node. And impure node means, for example, if refund equals to no, then we have different columns, right? For example, refund equals to no, the person is cheating and also not cheating. So there are two different values for refund equals to no, and that is called as impurity in the node. So our goal will be to reduce the impurity as maximum as possible. Okay. So we will discuss further thing in the next video.